Hello subscribers and unsubscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Solaris Ashes the Ashes where we are finishing up our war with the Ubrak regime. Um, I'm not quite sure if we'll be able to take all of this stuff. I'm not sure how much longer we still have left on the um, timer before we get the force status quo, but I'm hopeful that it is enough time to take their capital. Uh, the enemy did manage to retake one of their worlds, but that's partly because I've been scrapping, or excuse me, downgrading rather, their fortresses as we uh, push out. Mostly because they're, well, they're not in locations that I want them in. This is the simplest way to describe it, really. Uh, I am actually gonna, I think, kick the game up to three speed because it's we're basically in the mop up phase for the most part, and so I figure this is probably not the most interesting stuff to watch because as it as I basically just flip back and forth between the fleets to see uh, who's ready to go and attack or to assault the planet. That's basically where we're at now. Uh, first fleet's gonna take a little longer. You, I think, are gonna be the first to land. Let's go ahead and enter orbit. You guys are a little beat up. Oh, what do we got here? Increase unity output. Yeah, why not? Don't bother showing me unavailable. So we got some choices. I think I might go for Imperial Prerogative. Um, I don't have the option for Galactic Wonders yet because I don't have Mega Engineering. Uh, which first requires, I think, the ability to build Titans before you can actually get that. Uh, Galactic Force Projection is an option. Um, it is, sadly, just a minor plus 80 now, rather than the original plus, what was it, 200? Um, in pre-2.0. Uh, but it does also give me fleet command limit, which means I could add some more battleships, cruisers, whatever, to my fleets. Uh, at least a little bit. Uh, but Imperial Prerogative lets me directly control more systems, which I think is going to be more useful right now. Especially in light of the fact that we're going to gain a number of worlds. Some of these will be staying, although a lot of these worlds will be disappearing because, well, our people are not going to like the worlds. Uh, Governor died. Is it my core sector? No, it's the dude from the first sector, so I don't really care. He can die. That's fine with me. Let's go ahead and land you. First fleet, how are you doing? We still got a ways to go. Two planets here. It's a continental world. You guys are almost ready. I think I'm just going to say fuck it and attack now. You guys will deal with it. You might take some losses, but that's fine. I am planning to replace you guys anyway with psionic armies, so... It's sort of whatever for me, to be honest. Uh, does look like they are trying to regroup a number of their fleet. Um, in their capital. I think they're planning to put up their 
last ditch efforts. So we're just gonna go ahead and crush them because why not? Also, I don't know where they're getting these cruisers. Incoming transmission. No, you're the not getting pieces. Have banded together in a federation. Oh, got a federation here between the Kelazan and commonality of Clat. And the Omni Hub have been given association status, which is a little surprising because the Omni Hub is a decent distance away. Unless there's a wormhole here that connects them, but I don't think so. Um, no, not that I see. So, yeah, they don't, they don't even have a wormhole in the Kelazan Republic territory, so. It's definitely a little on the weird side. Oh, did they retake this? Or did I never own that? No, I don't think I ever owned that. I think I let them keep that. Go for the capital. Uh, you guys can go ahead and land. You guys dealt with this a lot faster than I expected. Um, ah, I think it's because they don't have a fortress. Fortresses delay things a little. Oh, this didn't have a fortress either, or it was on one of those tiles that have been bombarded. Okay, go there, take that, and then turn around and take back Lidge, and then we can jump over here. Xeno invaders are defiling one of our planets. Well, it's technically it's not one of our planets, it's one of theirs. We've just kind of stolen it from them. And they're just taking it back. Of course, we'll be stealing it back either way. Oh, never mind. No, we won't. War is ended. Um, yeah, I think Geldy might be your new home. Um, and as for you, I think Kador is going to be your new home. Actually, no, 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 no. Your new home, your, go back to your own home. Makura. Because we kind of got to prepare for that war. It's going to be happening, I think, fairly soon. Um, I am going to go ahead and actually just outright disband the transport fleets. Saves me time. Uh, Uberak have gotten non aggression packed. Or, uh, de excuse me, defensive pack with somebody. So, have our capital produce 11 psionic armies. Have Meridia produce 12. Meridia's army is going to go to the second fleet, while the ones being produced at the capital are going to go to the first fleet. Sectors need to stop reorganizing their people. Uh, I am also going to go ahead, and because I know a lot of these worlds are going to get lost over here. Just going to go ahead and put you all in one giant sector. Yes, yes, I know that's generally not something you want to do. In this case, I don't care. I'm going to scrap you because I don't want you. Obrak have become buddies with the Kelazan Republic, so we can officially consider the 
uh, Federal Concord to be the we got the shit being out of us by the committee of Karen Benong or however we pronounce our name. Uh, Glidia is going to get upgraded. Uh, Kador doesn't need to. Uh, Duix is, I think, going to get just outright downgraded. Because I'm not using it really anymore. Let's just figure out where all our stuff is. So you can stay. I need a, sta a shipyard down there. Uh, Markab actually isn't a bad choice, actually, for basing the first fleet. Because it's already pretty well established. Yeah, you know what? First fleet, change of plans. Your actual base is going to be Markab. Because as it turns out, it's already pretty well built up. Uh, yes to a fleet academy there. Uh, Avlam is going to be a no. Downgrade it. Kador is going to be a no. Downgrade it. Uh, these could certainly stand to get upgraded to deal with the pirates, but eh, they're not that big of a deal. Uh, they haven't come for us at all, and I'm probably going to be going for them fairly shortly. And you know, because we're at peace, screw it. Just jump. Get yourself a little bit closer. Wait, it doesn't take as long. Oh. Somebody else has joined in. Ah! Okay. So now it's really the anti committee of Karen Banong Federation. Uh -huh. <laughs> because the Star Realm has been brought into it. Well, now they got a decent number of people there, but they're all pretty crap. Honestly, the Star Realm is the biggest threat in their Federation. Uh, and I'm pretty sure one of my fleets could probably deal with them alone. Uh, especially when fully equipped. Turn around, you morons. Seriously, how hard is it to realize that your orders have changed? That means stop what you're doing, turn around. Ooh. Oh, and now the star has left. No, the Kelazan left. What? You formed the damn thing and now you leave? Okay, whatever you say, game. I think the Kelazan just want to get annexed. And I mean, if that's their wish, I can grant it. Fairly easily, in fact. Uh, but yeah, that sort of seems to be the case, because they just decided to say screw it. Which was a pretty bad idea, all things considered. Actually, you know what? Wait to build those until the Fleet Academy is built. For the bonus 100 XP when the ship is constructed. It'll just make things a little easier. You are still a ways to go. If I told you to build, where would you build it? Okay, it would still get built here. And this would need to get upgraded to get a thing, so let's go ahead and upgrade it. Um, okay, I guess somebody decided to move. You know what? Screw it, never mind. You guys gain XP fairly quickly. So, never mind. Change of plans. Go back to doing what you were originally doing and just build it. I'm gonna deal with the pirates game. Jesus, I got bigger fish to fry. Say that honestly, I could just have you go deal with the pirates while we wait. So, 
Yeah, screw it. Just go ahead and deal with the pirates while we wait. Yes, yes, game. I know. The people are dying on these worlds. Such a shame. Construction complete. Okay, go ahead and do that. Let's connect those so it doesn't look like it's two sectors bordering one another. I don't know why it does that sometimes when they're clearly touching. Oh, well, I guess it's because there's no hyperlane route between the two. That was why. Uh, oh, and we found a shuttle from the Yvzorak Ravagers. A small Yvzorak shuttle recently crossed into our space in the Rimbord system, pursued by raiders from the Yvzorak Ravagers. We are not certain why they were being chased but their own pe by their own people, but the raiders withdrew when they were challenged by our border security. The heavily damaged shuttle was recovered, revealing that the crew had perished shortly after they entered Rimbord. Its cargo hold was filled to the brim with stolen Andri credit chips. By right of salvage, the credits are ours. Not that we really need them, we had a decent supply. Admittedly, we are losing some, but that's not that big of a deal, and we'll be able to fix it fairly quickly, actually. Um, trading hubs. I could upgrade you to a citadel, but there's literally no point. Okay, so let's look at this. You're not in a particularly useful spot anymore, so I'm just going to downgrade you. You're not in a particularly useful spot anymore, so I'm going to downgrade you. You're still in an okay spot, so I'll keep you. You could stand to get upgraded, though, to be completely honest. Even if it's only getting sensors as well. So we can see even further into the Kazam Citizen League. So what color are you- oh, I think you're using now the commonality of Klatt's colors. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely the commonality of Klatt now. That's technically the leader of the favorable Concord. So there you go. Now we're making money after scrapping some fortresses that weren't really needed anymore. Uh, I assume the game also scrapped the defenses as well. Yeah, scrapped them down to whatever the bare minimum that they're allowed to have is. And goodbye, pirates. Now you go home. Once you're done there, build a station there to deal with those guys actually uh, before you guys actually go home I do have a minor other pirate issue for you to deal with so deal with that as well uh, 40 months and we'll get a bonus of energy credits Yeah, I really do want to go and deal with these Ravagers, though. But part of my worry is if I deal with them, it's going to more or less prevent the con from firing. Or the event for the con to fire. That's supposed to sort of unite all these guys and make them a potential actual threat in the mid-game. Um, but it hasn't happened yet. Some Radicalization don't care you all are gonna be purged fairly soon I say that it's still 18 years out but that's besides the point you are upgrading right now uh, you could tend to get upgraded to a star fortress. Um, you should probably get upgraded. 
you're on a fairly important connection point. And I have the space now. So let's go ahead and upgrade some of our borders. I'm not sure if that'll take me over my cap. We'll figure that out, though. Actually, I don't really need some. I don't need you all to get upgraded, actually. Well, maybe you, just so I can. Well, is, what is the planet type here? Arid. Okay, we like arid worlds. A decent enough amount for my people to move there. So, you know, build that up and I'll turn you into a trading hub. Uh, what about here? Tundra, we don't like those, which is a shame because that's some Batharian stone I could use. We do have a savanna world here, so upgrade that. I know I downgraded that earlier. This is also a savanna world, so yeah. Polaris is a desert world we like those so go ahead and upgrade that for another trading hub uh, Arctic we don't like those so screw that system uh, that is an Arctic world we don't like those this is an Alpine doesn't look like any of our people have moved there so I'm gonna go ahead and let me say we don't like those Continental and Arctic, we don't like those. I think that more or less covers everything. Let's go and engage in capacity overload so we can get more of a stockpile. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with the production targets though right now. Oh, do we have anything for research? Um, no, I could declare a saint. However, or some additional unity which certainly isn't bad what are, faction are we not doing something for um, okay spiritualists want harmony I don't have that yet okay that's maybe our next one gives us pop growth lifespan unrest ethics attraction and when in a defensive war, ship build speed. Yeah, we're not going to be in defensive wars at this point, game. I don't think anybody beats us except for maybe the Fallen Empires. Oh, well, no. Technically, the Kingdom of Septoka could put up a fight, but it's mostly just because of their naval capacity. Their actual military is inferior. How are you guys doing? You are a egalitarian xenophobe spiritualist. That is a very weird combination in my opinion. But hey, if you guys want to be weird like that, you can be weird like that. I won't stop you, but I do think it's weird. Out of curiosity, what do you guys have for engines and whatnot? Uh, Hyperdrive 3 and thrusters 4, okay, good for you. almost done building up the armies. Uh, I think this part will end once the armies are built up. To uh, 12 each. I was about to say 11. I don't know why it would be 11. I don't like odd numbers. So it sure as hell wouldn't actually be 11. Uh, unless they're damaged then sure. We have mastered a new technology. More naval capacity and I can go ahead and get the sacred nexus. Uh, max occupation garrisons only really works if uh, you're able to actually have occupation garrisons. I think as fanatic purifiers, well, technically we can have them. The issue is none of the people want to do it because they're all being purged. I know it's a surprise that people being purged don't want to be the occupation garrison. As a result of that, um, generally speaking, we're not going to be able to do the whole 
occupation garrison. So it's basically a useless tech for us. Um, if it provided some other bonus instead, I would probably select it. But the fact that it doesn't do anything useful makes it worthless for us. Uh, so because of that, I think I'm going to go and say let's get the Sacred Nexus. Uh, that's a better version of our temples. you only have a single construction ship for such a large sector is going to mean it's going to take you forever to build this sector up. But I can live with that. Construction complete. Uh, how do I fare against you? You're still superior, so that's a no-go for right now. I wish I could see one of your guys' military fleet so I could see what weapons you have equipped, but sadly I can't. Plus also, this is actually a nebula here, so I don't even get sensors in there. So for all I know, they might have a fleet in Rigel, but I can't see it because it's in a nebula. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, uh, just continue to upgrade you. Continue to upgrade you. Construction complete. Upgrade you. Construction complete. Uh, can these be built? No, not at the same time. So yeah, just upgrade all the way and I'll just tell you to build the defense platforms in one go. Uh, except for Polaris. Polaris doesn't need them. Polaris is going to be a trading hub. So Polaris gets a trading hub, you get a trading hub. Uh, the reason these guys are getting trading hubs is because they have worlds that our people like. So our people are fine with living them, or living on those worlds, so might as well. Uh, and you guys can't do that stuff while upgrading, so again, just level up to the max level that we have right now. Honestly, Kraz is you know what? Yeah, no, Kraz isn't particularly useful, so screw it. Uh, in fact, technically speaking, I could just go to Demon Mall, or Demon's Mall, and take this. And that more or less ensures. Well, not quite. It helps minimize the chance, but. You stop. You go there. You're closer. Somebody go there. You. Fill in the blank. Um, are we just waiting for the rest of these guys to arrive, or can I not afford to upgrade you? No, it says you already have full strength. What am I missing? Game? Ah, some battleships, that's what. I'm like, I must be missing something, because you're not at 130 like the other fleet is. Found out the reason. You were missing some battleships. Now you have them though. So let's do that. Um, okay. That's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time. But until then, a goodbye and farewell. Quick reminder that I do have a Patreon. Link in the description if you want to become one. And I will see you all in the next part.